Hey everybody, it's Homeless Sock Puppet. It's time for you to officially meet Turtle Box Official, a composer, an artist, a developer, and so much more. If you look up Turtle Box, you'll see that they're active on most social media platforms. But for brevity of today's video, we're just going to talk about the most important stuff. The first social platform we'll talk about is Reddit. I made a post on Reddit because an artist salesperson tried to scam me. They tried to give me a full package price for a single tool. After I negotiated with them and they convinced me that their tools were superior, that I should really consider them, I took a couple days to think about it and I checked their personal site. They were indeed not charging me for the price of one tool, but for an entire package. I also think that said artist has something to do with Turtlebox Official, but we'll talk about that another time. For now, let's just talk about this post. So now that you understand what my original post was about, it was exposing an artist who tried to scam me, this is what the official moderator of Reddit had to say. And by the way, I have to say, the only person that I'd criticize at this point was the artist in question. That was all I posted about. I did not initiate contact with any of these people. Turtlebox official. Jesus Christ, shut up. If you're homeless, how the fuck are you Twitch streaming? Plus, able to afford all these PNG avatars in the first place. By the way, I had shown no PNG avatars, so that was made up by them. And also, I've done one Twitch stream, and it was obvious that I was using horrible equipment. So already, they're framing the argument to be something that's completely not. None, neither of those things are even true. Shouldn't you prioritize not being homeless instead of spending money on shit like a virtual avatar? If you think $40 is overpriced, you are insane. People pay hundreds on the side for animating their PNG VTubing models. Again, a completely false claim. I was trying to purchase a single tool, just an asset. I was not trying to purchase this. Like, they are just, this moderator knows who I am and what I'm doing, and they're purposely saying all this just to change the narrative. Models, which they're already paying hundreds for. $40 for a static full-body PNG is a great price. Again, lying and misrepresenting what's going on here. The $40 static full-body thing isn't even true. I contacted this artist for a single asset, which should range about $10 to $20. I wasn't trying to get anything that was remotely close to an avatar or whatever they're talking about. Again, no one's trying to be rude, while well, this person's being extraordinarily rude. But there's no way you expect people to believe you live in a homeless shelter when you visible post content what appears to be your parents' home. Again, uh, your parents' basement is kind of like a poor place to live if you're, if you're like, broke, right? And so comparing my homeless shelter to a parents' basement, that's a shitty thing to do. But here you can see is the start of this brigade and this kind of light docks. And they say, go look at this person. You're literally here to farm content and to harass people for a video you're probably working on, fuck off weirdo. Well now I am working on a video, but they know enough about me to know who I am. That means they checked out my YouTube channel for several minutes, they saw that I have many homeless shelter stories, many veteran stories, that I proudly talk about my life and being broke and trying to make it as an artist. So all of this is just to change the narrative, to start a brigade, and to dox me. And just to drive this home, because I don't know if you can see my cursor right now, but this YouTube link, by the way, is mine. In this thread that became insanely popular, where they put themselves as the top comment pinned because they're a moderator, that knowingly completely misrepresents my entire complaint. And now it's gone from way beyond a complaint to what would become an active brigade on the internet. What a little bitch. And to quickly address something that does need to be addressed, I was not appropriate in any of these messages are these threads, but I'm keeping everything up and I'm happy with everybody looking. Look, see this video that's pulled up right now? This is a pretty recent one and this one got insanely popular. This is about me talking about my current best friend Mojo, who's a 6'4 black queer who lives in this homeless shelter. He doesn't have many friends. He's my best friend and there's a whole lot wrong with him but I root for this guy. I love this guy. I think he's hilarious and that he's great company. I don't have an issue with minorities at all. I don't have an issue with being queer at all. I have an issue with being purposely misrepresented by a person in power in order to brigade and to basically ruin my name, my career, and my art fandom. 
It's absolute bullshit what they did. In my opinion, if you go after a 30-year-old homeless veteran and you use their protected status as insults, you would better be fucking prepared to have the same thing happen right back to you. Now back to Turtle Box. They're involved with a whole lot, it seems like. They're possibly involved with this audio engineering company. They've been involved with a couple indie game productions. They have some art that's laughably bad. We'll all make fun of that another time. And they've also worked with some pretty popular entertainers, industry people. Some names that you might not recognize, like Callie Morapi, but it seems like this person's out there, producing lots of stuff. One of the other things that I find really funny about this person is that they do charity streams. And then they post on Reddit on anti-Taylor Swift subs about how greedy and evil she is for having money. When this person's parents died, and then that's how they made their little multimedia company. Sounds like the average leftist, right? They don't really love other people. They don't really love minority groups. They don't really believe in fair business. They're just vile little shits who want to do what they want, and if you call them out on their behavior, they cry, whine, and stamp their feet. I don't know about you, but living the life that I've led, it sounds fairly typical. Not for all of them, but definitely for people like this. I don't know about you, dear viewer, but this is all pretty heavy. There's a lot here. So we're going to save the rest for another time. Plus, that's going to give me a chance to reach out and to find what else is going on with this person. This kind of wannabe DJ Khaled. This person who couldn't do anything until half their family died, and now they're out there prancing around and insulting homeless veterans. I don't know about you, but if we live in a world where someone can be attacked for being a homeless veteran, and you can't attack them back for using daddy's money to be a wannabe DJ Khaled, while dressing up like a bunny girl and being a man, then I don't know what fucking country we live in.